Hey everybody, um, I wanted to do another video game review. Um, today I want to do Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time for the 3DS. Um, and, well, it's... You can't really review this game uh, based off 3DS. I mean, the original was N64, so I am reviewing the game, but I'm also reviewing the game for the 3DS uh, as well, because they have uh, um, made the graphics look a little nicer and stuff. Um, but if you have not played this game... Um, I seriously recommend it. Um, if you've played other Zelda games, you'll like this. If you haven't played a Zelda game, you'll like this. This is amazing. It is different from the originals. Like, it is different from uh, Link to the Past. Um, just because the format was a little bit different. Um, it was more of a third-person view as opposed to the aerial view uh, like the originals. But uh, this game is probably one of my favorite games of all time. I first played it for the N64 when it came out. I remember buying it at a garage sale, I guess I'd rented it a couple times, so it was pretty cool. I don't have it anymore, so I'm really mad. I bought it at a garage sale, and then of course I sold it uh, when I sold my N64, and I do have an N64 again, but I still haven't managed to get it on N64 again. And I'm kind of okay with that, uh, because I feel like this is enough. Um, but anyway, um, it's amazing. It's a, such an amazing game. I can't stress how great it is. Um, let me see here. Um, my memories with it. I spent so much time on uh, Ocarina of Time. It's unreal. Um, I just remember playing it like every day. I couldn't wait to get home from school to play it. Um, I think it came out in 98, I think. Maybe? So I was like nine years old. Um... <laughs> Um, oh my god, um, I remember just loving it to bits, uh, I came home from school and it was like, it was like, okay, I have to, like, get to the next temple or whatever, and, like, you know, then there wasn't really the internet, um, I don't think we had internet then, uh, we ended up getting it in, like, 2000 or late 99, whatever, whenever we got it, it wasn't then, so there's no internet. There's no YouTube Let's Play. There's none of that crap. So, it is awesome. I love Let's Plays. But, <laughs> sorry. I don't mean it's crap. But, I, you had to just figure things out. I would call my friend and be like, Oh, are you at the Fire Temple yet? Or whatever. And it was like, okay, okay, okay. Oh, I'm so stuck at that one part where the door moves. Or whatever. And it was like, you had to rely on friends. Or just try everything out. You literally explored the temple in until you figured out how to get out of there. And I remember the water temple being hell, and I don't think I ever beat it. So, anyway, I just remember like, ah! Um, but, it's one of the best games ever, in my opinion. And I know a lot of people um, who, ended, who like were raised with the originals will say, no, A Link to the Past was better, but th no, this game's amazing. This is one of the best games ever. Um, it, I think why I like it so much is because it's not... It's like an RPG, but it's not tedious, uh, like a turn-based RPG. Um, you do exploring, uh, you go to towns, you go in temples, like dungeons and stuff, um, but it isn't like a level up kind of thing, and I think that's why I like it so much, because I can get so sick of that. Uh, it, very, it gets very annoying, so even though I like turn-based RPGs a lot, Sometimes it's just like, I don't want to be like, oh, I really got to be level 40 to do this, but I'm really at level 37, so it's going to take some grinding. This is not like that. Um, so if you don't like turn-based RPGs, you will like this so much! It's an adventure action role-playing game. How could you not like it? Um, what else? Uh, as far as story goes, um, same kind of thing, like... Um, Ganondorf, or Ganondorf, whatever, um, is taking over Hyrule, uh, z z the Princess Zelda, um, has picked Link to, uh, basically save Hyrule. Um, so same kind of thing, but, I don't know, it's, it's very fun, because you get to go through all different towns, you meet different, uh, types of, uh, or races of characters, like the Gorons, or Zoras, or Hyruleans, um, it's cool, uh, and you're, um, a Kokorai, um, like, elf character, well, if you don't know, whatever. Um, Link is amazing. Uh, one of the most iconic characters of all time. So, um, Kokorai Village, uh, all the music in this game, uh, some of the most memorable, um, game music to me, and I think to a lot of people. 
um, Kokorai Village, uh, it's stuck in my head forever, uh, or, um, Saria's theme, uh, let's see, Epona's theme, like, all of it, I know it all, it, oh, it's just, like, embedded, I remember, like, I actually remember making, <laughs> um, a, like, a mixtape, well, I guess it was a CD, uh, for my Discman, it was just MIDI files from Ocarina of Time, and I'd, like, rock that out on the bus, it was, I would listen to like, do, 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 and I just like loved that shit. Anyway, um, so I guess what can I start with? Gameplay, the gameplay is amazing, and again, I am basing this review off this version, obviously, uh, because if you don't, if you have the N64 version, obviously, all the stuff I'm gonna say is relevant, but gameplay on this is so much better than the N64. I'm sorry, it, it owns. And if you want to play it on a big screen, then get the N64. I get that. But they did up the graphics. They look so much better. Um, the 3D actually looks really nice, I have to say. You don't have to play with it on, but it really adds something. And I don't know how to explain it, but it really looks nice. So I, I do like it. Um, what else, what else, what else? Um, the game is just great. I'm sorry, but everything about it is great. Um, it's not so complicated where you have to get all these special items and and uh, have have your revive and like some like a typical RPG. Um, so if you've never played this game, then you wouldn't maybe know that. But um, it is simplistic, but it's done in such a way where it's just done brilliant. Uh, so it, it's one of the my favorite games of all time, and in my opinion, one of the best games of all time. It appeals to everybody. Um, I loved this game when I was in elementary school, and I knew at the same time when I was playing it, there were people who were like 35 enjoying the same game. And that that's nice to know. Um, oh, I hate this tag. Anyway, <laughs> um, it's just a fabulous game. Really, it's just fantastic. Um, what else about this game? The music is is amazing. Uh, it's, um, ah, it's just so good. Uh, Koji Kondo did the music, obviously, and it is fabulous. Uh, yeah, gameplay's great. Um, the, the way it looks, the graphics, stunning, and they look a lot better on this. Um, they do look, you know, they, you can tell, like, it's a port from N64, but they've done just enough tweaking that it's like, okay, it looks amazing. It looks really good. Um, lasting, uh, this, this game takes a long time, and if you want to play it again, why the hell not? I mean, I'm playing it again, um, after, like, what, jeez, oh, a long time now, <laughs> um, yeah, like, 13 years or whatever, anyway, uh, 13, 14 years, and, like, I hadn't really played it since it came out on the N64, so I've waited all this time, over a decade, and playing it again, it is great. I am not, like, Oh yeah, this part. Ugh, it's so good. I can't, I can't, I love it. I love it so much. Um, what else about this game? Uh, everything about it is just great. The controls, the controls are good. They're easy. Uh, nothing. That's what I like this game, is that it's really easy to just, you pick it up, you got it. And the story is so nice. It's a really good, it's good. Um, I just, for me, I'm that kind of gamer. I like RPGs. I like going to the towns and talking to the people and wandering around the overworld. I always love that. And this game, it gives you that aspect without the turn-based. And although I like turn-based, this was just, it's just a nice refreshing change. Um, but other than that, I don't really have much else to say except like 10 out of 10, 20 out of 10, whatever. This game is amazing. It's so good. And I'm so happy they ported it to the 3DS. It looks brilliant. If you don't have a 3DS yet, get one now. And I do say that because there's not a lot of games, so you may be thinking, I'll wait. There's enough that'll make it worthwhile. Um, New Super Mario Bros. 2. I already reviewed it, and I said it was way too easy. Uh, but still, it's a new Mario game that you can't play unless you have a 3DS. Uh, Super Mario 3D Land amazing. Why are you not playing this game? It's so good. And this. Um, I know Star Fox is on it as well, and I don't have that, but I, I'm a little bit tempted. Either way, this game is amazing. I just, I love it so much. Um, it's just so good, and it really brings me back. And for those of you who are looking for some nostalgia, or maybe like me, you don't have your original copy for the N64, or you don't have an N64 anymore, do this. You can get 3DSs now for like a hundred bucks. 
And this is really not that hard to find. I got this at my favorite pawn shop for 25 bucks, and I feel like that's a pretty good deal. Um, it's, this game is, it's amazing. It really is. Um, you know how there's some games that come along and everybody, you know, they're masterpieces, they're brilliant games. This one, this is a brilliant game. New Super Mario Brothers 2, not a brilliant game. This is a brilliant game. It's amazing. I really hope they actually port Majora's Mask because I never played it when it came out. I was all like kind of pissy about it. Like, it's not as good as Ocarina of Time. And I never rented or rented it or played it really. My friend across the street had it. Um, but I sort of never played it when I went to his house. Um, I remember always being like, it's just the same thing. They're trying to make money. I don't know. I, I really I really hope they do it because I'll definitely buy it like day it comes out. Um and yeah, this game takes a while. Um it's super fun. Uh I just love this game. One of my favorite games of all time. Um Link is amazing, Zelda's amazing, um Ganondorf's amazing, um uh uh Sheik's amazing. Uh it's so good. Um, everything about it, and the cutscenes look really, really nice, uh, really good in the 3D. And what's also really nice, I guess I didn't bring up, is that in the 3DS uh, version, you have like your, you know, there's two screens. Well, the bottom screen is all is basically your menu, it shows you what items you have, um, maybe the map of the of the temple you're in, as opposed to the uh, an N64 version, you may have to, I f don't remember, but I think you'd have to hit select and you'd open up another menu versus the dual screen is a nice touch, I have to say. It's really nice, especially you can choose which items you want to have, like you can have uh, your slingshot on B, your sword on A, uh, you can have the nuts on um, Y, whatever. It's great. So, I'm done! I don't have anything else to say about this game except that it's so good! It's a brilliant game. Please buy this if you don't have it. Um, if you never really liked it, give it another shot because it's one of the best games of all time. So, you know, sorry, but it's one of the best games of all time. So, yeah. Anyway, it's a really good game and I really recommend it. And it's not that hard to find cheap. Uh, so if you're wondering what the cost, go to a pawn shop, go to a convention. I'm sure you can find this for a reasonable price. Other than that, that's all I have to say. I know this wasn't very in-depth. I'm sorry. I don't have much to say that's like really brilliant here other than it's a brilliant game so yeah um i'll see you guys later hopefully do uh, another review or another video of some kind soon okay see ya